Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is DevCraft. That's right, I'm continuing on with this series as uh, people seem to have some interest in it. Nothing wrong with that. So as it turns out, a lot of you are asking, Valen, I want to play this mod pack. Where do I get this mod pack from? Well, right now, it's not available to the public as of the time of me recording this video at the very least. Uh, if you are interested in playing this mod pack and you want to have access to it, as it turns out, there's no experimental mods on here that aren't already released. Um, Newbie or Nubanitus wanted to have this uh, mod pack out there for those people that just wanted to mess around with Create with a bunch of the mods, and he wanted to explore a bunch. So he just put together a pack and slammed it on DevCraft, and honestly, that's exactly what I was kind of looking for. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. So if you want to see it, if you want to play it, uh, if you want to try it out, let newbie know in the comments below because uh, he, he frequents the comments in case you didn't see on the first video um and yeah uh just breaking and replacing the uh the blocks seems to have fixed the issue of the uh the broken windows like this which actually the windows aren't even you know i could shoot through here like an arrow slit which in some ways is good but considering that uh i've already been sniped once or twice by some um some skellies I think that's a bad thing. <laughs> so I'm going to put this back up here. There we go. Much better. And it is now turning nighttime. So I'm going to get a snooze. Oh, look at that. You can see the sun right through the window. I don't know why I'm blinking while I'm sleeping. That's curious. I'll have to ask about that. Um, but there's so much that one can do uh, in this pack right now. And I'm, I, I will admit, I'm a little overwhelmed because there's there's no like questing or anything like that a lot of people often know oh, for I forgot I had bad omen a lot of people uh, often have the the quests to tell them what to do in a pack like this it's just you're thrown into a world you do what you want and that's pretty much it you know there, there isn't too much more to it than than that uh, and in fact did this all stay like loaded or something no it's it's not fully grown all right um, so you will have to use your imagination if, you, if you're playing this pack. It is fully grown. All right, cool. So I'll grab that, and we can plant down some more stuff. In fact, give me these wheat seeds. I'm going to put... Oh, I can't break this because one of the mods we have in place. Uh, I will supply a mod list down below for those that want to see what it is that is out there, which is pretty darn interesting what there is uh, available. Let's put down some aubergine because that's going to be uh, useful here. We've got some hemp seeds we're going to put down over there. And I think the rest is just going to be some wheat so I can get like hay and things of that nature. Then I'll, I'll put the rest in a chest inside. But I will put that uh, a link to the uh, the mod list in the description down below. Or for those that are Kovalites, it's um, the doobly-doo. So <laughs> let me put my food up here, which is great. I don't think that counts as food. What the heck? A harvesting drone from Pneumaticraft Pre-Pressurized. How did I miss that that was in here? That's weird. But I can make string from it. Rope, which is great. This is all druid craft, uh, which if you haven't already tried it, very pretty stuff. Adds in some really nice mobs as well as just some pretty things um, in general. So we're going to put that up here as well. Even though it's not technically food, I'm growing it. So I'm putting it in here for now. Yeah. And do I have mob drops? There we go. I've got mob drops. And then we've got this with the little glowstone dust in there. And I think down below is where I've got all the rest of my stuff. So I've been messing around a little bit. Not not in here, like in a single player world, just checking out some stuff. Um, there is a lot of mods. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I have no idea what I'm doing with. Forbidden and Arcanus seems like something that I would really be interested in as well. But I also know that there's a lot of people that want to see Create. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I will need a bunch of wood, though. Where did I... Did my wood go get disappeared? No, there it is. All right, I've got a bunch of wood now. Uh, in fact, I'll also I've got stone, I've got sticks, I've got wood. I think I've got enough that I could actually start crafting stuff and building uh, gears and whatnot for Create. For those that are curious, if you've been watching the bit by bit videos that I've started, you will need to have some gears or some cogs, I believe is what they're called. And you can actually increase and decrease uh, speed and strength and everything like that with this before you are able to obtain zinc. This is often uh, 
well, overlooked if you jump from one video to the next. I was just trying to uh, alleviate the number of questions people were having on, I need to know how to make you make the mechanical thing work. Well, this is the, the earlier version. You don't have access to zinc and brass yet, so we're going to make a bunch of these. In order to do that, I need buttons. So let's take a bunch of these, make some of this. Can I make buttons out of these? I can, hopefully. Um, there's enough here. Yes, I've got the music on. Deal with it. Uh, we've got enough here that we can do this. Oh, I need andesite alloy. It's going to be, well, I'm not going to use my zinc for that, but iron and andesite. Got a little bit, uh, but I didn't process any of my iron. Oh, no. Well, hey, that's where we get into one of Newbie's mods, uh, which if you're not familiar with it, it's called Grinder, uh, and it adds in grindstones. Now, each one will have different stats. If you go with the early one, the regular stone one, you can grind things up in there like iron ore, and you can get benefits from it. Like you get a possibility of an extra 10 percent so there's a chance if you grind up 10 ores that you'll get an extra ore but by the time you've done that you could probably make something like an iron one you know one two three four five six seven iron ingots so it's it, and and of course to make the grindstone itself you need an iron ingot plus the uh, the grinder requires an iron ingot so i mean I don't know. Is it worth it even at that level? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if you have a bunch of gold, maybe you could just do that instead. But I think I'm just going to go for the iron unless I can find some more ores. I could jump down below and just mine up a bunch of stuff like obsidian. Look at that. Output bonus, plus 150. It makes me just want to jump in, into obsidian. Um, but I, <laughs> I can't mine obsidian until I get some diamonds. Ugh. And yeah, there's even a diamond one in here. But still, we're going to try... Might as well just start with this. I realize it'll take two iron ingots, but I think I can, I think I can use the base on it. I haven't a, a even used this more than just like a, a, like one one use, maybe two uses. So you, you'll have to forgive me. A lot of the things in this pack are things I've never played before. So if you're just going to be like Valen, you're being all stupid and stuff. No, it's me experimenting and trying things out. So too bad. And we're going to make ourselves. The stone grindstone, which will require a bunch of smooth stone. Dog on it. Put a bunch of that in there. And in fact, um, I'm going to get uh, three of those. There's four. Fourth one already cooking. I'm going to get one more piece of cobble if I can, just so that I can have that in there. Because smooth stone is, is at a premium. I tell you what, in this pack, uh, or just in general, things that use smooth stone instead of regular. I'm going to throw that in there so that I have this ready and available. Uh, I also need this, which can be any number of stuff. I'm not going to use my diorite or my andesite because I think I'll need those for a bunch of my, um, my, oh, shoot, I keep opening the wrong thing, uh, for everything else really. I've got mossy. Maybe I can do something with clay dirt. I should keep that on me just because it might work to substitute things. Maybe it'll work in this case. I don't know. I could take a, I could make a furnace though with some of the regular cobblestone. Boy, I'm already, I'm going to have to switch this out so that I, I don't need to do this. And I keep going into that chest. Okay, I can see some things that I'm just going to have to deal with and fix. <laughs> One is the way that I'm thinking and just jumping around. But let's try opening this up. We're going to make a furnace. We're going to take this furnace and try making one of these, which I think these are, accepts any stone. So I do need this that's going to be seven is it yeah that should do it that should be enough for that so let's try making one of these oh right iron ingot hmm probably also a good idea to get a blast furnace going in here as well for speed's sake which requires iron as well hmm so i will need to have smelted at least a little bit of iron crud well at least i've got my other furnace i'm going to remove this did that torch just disappear no it went into the window and I can put this here. Oh, can I break this up into smaller coal? Nope. Okay, fair enough. It's not in every pack. There we go. And I might as well do, what do I need? At least two, right? In order to start for the uh, the grinder, I believe. And it's, the mod is G-R-I-N-D-R. -R. It's kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is going to be one iron ingot for that and one iron ingot for this. Now, I could just straight up smelt the ingots for this one and go to the iron, which would probably be rather smart. 
but we're going to experiment with this one first. Uh, so let's do this. I've got the stone one. I'm, there's a chance I might get uh, that back. I still need that other furnace, which is currently here. Gimme. And some stone. There we go. So one of these. Grinder. Now, let's put this down over here for now. And then we take the top of it, right? Yep. And then we click that on top. All right, cool. And if you're curious about all these names and numbers down here, I think that's uh, Quark adding that in, um, I think, where it uh, tells you the different things that are leaving and entering your inventory. So you know when you pick up a bunch of stuff what you're getting. It's kind of cool. So I right click on here and it does take fuel like before. Uh, but I can actually, let's see, how many do I need for uh, this? And can I remove the top? Yes, I can. Just a sneak click. That is, that's good. All right. So then let's just smelt up enough just to get the iron one, which I realize it'll be slower. Oh, no, that's, this one's actually slower. So it'll be faster and a better output. And now that I could probably do with some other things as well. I think there's even a platinum one in here. And I've got some platinum down below, plus 120%. Ooh. I've got platinum at the bottom of this, but I, technically I am not able to mine it yet. That was just something that I found in a chest. I'm not going to do the cheaty, though I am very tempted to do so. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six of these, and we'll see what that gets me. Because for all I know, this might actually get me a seventh one. I don't know. It's it's entirely possible. There's Lightcraft. We'll say hi. And... Uh, I'm recording FYI, just so people know. <laughs> I don't want to end up having them say things in the chat that they might not want broadcasted. <laughs> but Lycrast is a, a, a dev as well. Uh, he's made many a mod in the past. There you go. He says hi, everybody. So there's four here. And then with this, I could potentially smelt up some other stuff. But I think, shoot, I, it's like I really want to just do the... Um, a blast furnace right now, but I guess I'm just going to do a regular furnace. I'm sure that'll be used for another recipe. So I'm by my base and left the door open. Not it. <laughs> Oops. Well, I guess I've got a, an above furnace furnace now. So let's put one up here and then I can... Wait, 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 wait. What am I going to need for, for this here? That's going to be there. See, this is just making me the smelted stuff. This is for my other use. We've got, what, six pieces. So I didn't end up getting any more. I was hoping I would, but I did not. So with that, we're going to need one more piece. And it just ran out. I should not have put that in there. I should have used sticks, but it's all right. I've got more wood. <laughs> He's got a roof to finish building. All right, uh, so a couple of ingots. I will be back once this is done, and then we can upgrade to the, the iron grindstone. And then maybe we can uh, head back down. I might even uh, upgrade my tools. I think my pickaxe here is still on... Actually, this one here is still using a flimsy handle, which is just a stick. I could probably do... Not the hilt. No, uh, no, 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 no. The... Is it the pommel? I can't remember. I thought it was a no, flimsy hilt. Okay, yeah. So I want to do instead a simple hilt. Oh, it's not. It doesn't recognize druid craft darkwood planks. Dog on it. That's too bad. But I could pop in some iron ingots. <laughs> and switch out this this blade. What is it? It's a regular stone blade. What if I make it a heavy blade? I don't have. Oh, I've got regular stone and clay dirt. Wow, look at that. I can make a clay dirt one. It'll be dumb slow. But I think I would also have to change the uh, pommel out to be like a counterweight. Let's try this. We're going to mess around a little bit. We're going to try making this stone blade into a heavy blade. And with that, we're going to need some stone. So let me grab cobble. We'll just use the cobble. Look, see, I'm learning. I'm not, I'm not actually opening the wrong chest anymore. We're going to try this, make it into a heavy blade, which should make things... A lot better. There we go. Craft. Oh, this requires a tier two hammer, which I don't have any hammers in my inventory. Yes, I do. I have two mallets, but they need to be upgraded first. All right. So here's the thing. You need to upgrade your tools so you can upgrade your weapons. Uh, so let's start with this. I don't think I have any smooth stone. This might be a thing. Wooden mallet, hammerhead, 
I could use the iron ingots, but yeah, it requires three at a time. That, that's quite expensive. So I think what I'm going to do instead, because I could use wood, but if I do use wood, it doesn't change anything because it already is. So I'm going to do this one. And that should increase it. If I do it at both sides, it should increase the level. So let's do that. And then we'll hit this side. We'll do another hammerhead on the other end. Yes, I'm sticking with Tetra because uh, tools are important. Craft that. It's a tier two hammer. So I can't do too much with this. Flimsy hilt. Simple hilt. I can't use this other wood that I have. Did I still have any birch planks? I have one birch plank. Hmm, I think I might have to, um, what is it for the hilt material? Oh, I could do that. Okay, cool. So by adding this in, you notice the integrity goes up a little bit. That's like the number of upgrade slots that I can do. It makes it a little bit slower, but I think that's okay because I'm going to need those upgrade slots because this is going to be turned into maybe a counterweight. Let's see, we can do clay dirt. That it totally increases the speed a lot. Um, we can make it out of cobblestone. That's probably going to be cheaper for me, uh, though I have no use for the clay dirt right now. I could do the iron ingots, but that's not going to really change much either. Let's go with the clay dirt. Craft. Okay, so we've got a stone sword. Stone blade. Oh, I didn't actually change the heavy blade yet. If we put this up here, now we can do this. Craft. Now what happens if we choose the counterweight to a different material? This, the speed goes down. Because if you balance the counterweight and the blade, then you could potentially, oh, see, there we go, regular stone adds one extra durability. Make it better. Adding iron doesn't really do much for the counterweight. So therefore, I think I'm just going to go with that, which is a five great sword and I think what would help probably is going to be some kind of like a, a binding on there or something like that but it, it is still a five damage super fast swing sword uh, you know so it's half the damage of this great axe that I have but it does swing in a large arc obviously uh, I need to like be stepping back and swinging at enemies at the time um, speaking of this here can I use this to upgrade it with Hey, there we go. I see cobblestone. That is perfect. Let's take... That's not a crafting table. This is the crafting table. We're going to upgrade my shield as well. Make this a lot more durable. Max protection 230. This one's 104. And that one's about busted as well. So I might just put that in here as a temporary means. And I think I will wear this one instead. Cool. In fact, I'm going to open my cosmetic armor. And I'm going to turn all these off because the leather armor looks kind of chunky on me. And I like this much better. There we go. I still got the protection from it, but, you know, the stuff is there. Let's put this up here. I can put this one in place and I can just put a couple sticks in there as needed. And that should probably do it. I've got six of them. I just need the one more and then I can make the iron grindstone. Then I can uh, make the rest of these. So let's open this up, take this out. Put this topper in here for now. Maybe I'll need it for a second one. I don't know. There we go. Seven of these. So if I take this grinder away, grindstone, iron, let's put it on top. There we go. So now if I put this in here, a couple of those, that should take care of that. And then with the first block that comes off, or the first iron that comes off, I could make a blast furnace, which should help process ores much quicker. Uh, so let's look up blast, because I can never remember the vanilla recipe for a blast furnace. Recipe for this. Okay, it's just five. Oh, smooth stone blocks. So they need to be double double smelted smooth stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're going to put those in here, just because I know I'll probably need more than what I have. My cobblestone is already low, and this is just stuff that I got free at the beginning. I haven't really mined very much. But look at this. I'm getting 11. 13. It's working. It's definitely working. I've got 13 and then 15. Yep, I'm getting two at a time on occasion, which is fabulous. All right. Great early game mechanic. And then uh, until then, I can smelt it in here. I think what I might do is switch these out. Ah, I've got another furnace. What am I doing? Put it there. <laughs> then I can put one in here and half these in here, and that should make me the stuff for my... Uh, Blast Furnace. All right, and then I've got a basic setup so that I can go mining. 
Now the thing is, I don't have much for torches. I have a little bit of coal left. I don't think I have much down below left for coal either. I did grab a few from the walls inside in here. Um, I'm kind of worried. Yeah, there's, there's some problems in here. Let's put a torch here and here. All right, everything's green in here. Hitting F7, I can see everything uh, for what's lit and not lit. And that should be more than enough. I don't think that I need any more torches than what I have. And I might be able to get some of that fiery glass stuff down below. If you find a despair mushroom, I'm interested, or I can give you the hope mushroom for the good night sleep bed. Okay, I'll look for it. And there we go. I've got five. That should be enough for this. Okay, and if you guys see it, I'm sure you will. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. I should probably look it up. What is he? He's looking for a despair mushroom. All right. Despair. Oh, it's dark. From good night sleep. Oh, wait a second. Am I going to get attacked during the, during nighttime? Is that why I'm blinking when I'm sleeping? Despair mushroom. There's no recipe. Use for it. You add it to your bed. And it makes a strange bed. <laughs> okay, so there's despair mushrooms and hope mushrooms. Things we need to look for. Good to know. Wretched soup. This food is not nourishing enough to improve your health. Wow. Um, I, sorry, I'm just a little concerned about that all of a sudden. <laughs> there we go. Grab this. And then maybe we can build our new blast furnace. Yeah, it's a little bit vanilla, but still, it should be a little bit faster. There we go. Then we've got our ore processing, and then I might even have another chest for that. Uh, let's see, if I take some of these, are they going to make a regular chest? Yeah. And honestly, that's fine. This is where I can put my ingots and dusts, uh, stuff that needs to be processed or that I have processed. I don't think I have anything else upstairs. Yeah, it's just... I've got glowstone. Meh. That's that's nothing that I, I'm really going to smelt. <laughs> At least I hope not. Um, and now I do have those dark wood buttons and stuff, so I can feasibly make things now. But I don't have much andesite or other materials. So I think what we need to do is go exploring. Uh, in fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all this stuff back in here for now. I've got enough wood, coal, I can make some torches. Uh, I'm hoping that I can, uh, in fact... Oh, let's, I want to try this. So uh, I'm hoping, in fact, that I will find some fiery glass down below so that I can not use regular torches because fiery glass is so much prettier, or at least for maybe in the house. But here we go. I, I noticed I've got these quick dump to nearby chests and quick stack to nearby chests, which if you're familiar with quick stacking, then you're probably familiar with Terraria or at least the quark uh, mechanic of it. So I've got you know that in there I've got a bunch of stone and stuff I split the clay dirt this is the only thing that I have of similar stuff these sticks are different this is a stick this is a tea stick right and then just a piece of glowstone in here so if I hit quick stack to nearby chests oh my that's weird it didn't take the clay dirt oh because it was in my hot bar but it did take my crafting table do I have a crafting table in one of these chests is it down here? Oh, yep. Yep. Okay. So that that was pretty slick. So if it's on your hotbar, apparently, it won't take it. But if it's in your inventory, it will. And if I hit quick stack, there we go. Yep. All right. Good. To, and then it showed you immediately after which chest it went to. That was green for a moment, and this was and the rest was red. Neat. Doesn't stack it in place, but at least it went into the right chest. Then you can always sort afterwards. So let's do uh, one, two, a bunch of torches to start. I've got 44. That'll be good for exploring torches. Uh, I'm going to keep the sticks. Hmm, and I'll put the charcoal in one of the furnaces, I think, because that's just smart to do. Leave it there. And in fact, I don't need these hammers. I'm going to put, oh, no, wait. Yes, I do. I will need at least one hammer to uh, repair stuff. And if I bring a crafting table, I should be able to convert that into uh, a repair bench that I can use for my tools. At least, that's the hope. 
So there is a mod in here for the ladders that allows you to go quickly down them. I'm not sure if it if there's something that allows you to go up them quickly. I have not been able to find that as of yet. Oh, here we go. This is the stuff I was looking for. And a sight. <laughs> more cobblestone. I just need to bring all this stuff up. But I think what we need to do even more is go and kill some stuff and explore a little bit while we're down in these caves. <laughs> 